Mark Zandi is with me, Chief Economist at Moody's Analytics. Mark, so um, let's take first of all the Fed chairs. I mean, it's a statement of the obvious in a sense. No one likes it when rates are going up and there will be further rate rises to come. But you still think the US will avoid recession? Yeah, I, I think we have a fighting chance, Richard. Uh, you know, it's uh, under any scenario, it's going to be a tough year when you have high inflation and the Federal Reserve raising rates as, as fast as they are. Recession risks are high. But having said that, uh, you know, I, I think we the underlying strength, the U.S. economy has a lot of underlying strengths. Leverage is low, generally across households, businesses, real estate markets are underbuilt. Uh, typically before recessions, they're overbuilt. The banking system is in great shape. State and local governments are flush. You know, I can go on, you know, the kind of the typical imbalances that prevail prior to recession just don't today. And that, I think, means that the U.S. has a fighting chance to get through the next year without uh, actually suffering a recession. The slowdown that will take place will have its effects. Unemployment will rise. But it's this warning from the World Bank that the developing world is going to be hit hardest. That is worrisome in its own right. Yeah, I mean, the obviously, the developing world is more highly levered and taken on a lot more debt, uh, government debt, the corporate debt, households are more indebted in a higher rate environment uh, like uh, with prevails uh, that's prevailing now. And it's even higher in many of these uh, developing emerging economies. You know, that adds to the debt service burden and, and they do have uh, problems serving that. And that makes it just a lot more difficult for them to uh, stay out of uh, an economic downturn or recession. So they're just much more vulnerable in a country like the United States, certainly at this point in time. Right. Uh, but the Fed, the ECB, whilst not immune to the effects elsewhere, uh, really will stay the course for their own economies. Based, I mean, Jay, Jay Powell has said, look, I'm very sorry about all of this. However, we do need to do what we're going to do. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, the Federal Reserve, ECB, the Bank of England uh, are, are going to continue to raise rates, slow growth to get in inflation back in. It's just a question of how high they have to take rates and uh, for how long. And, uh, and uh, you know, it, it depends on the country. The uh, U.S. is different than the British, the, different than the, than the German economy. But, you know, I, I do think all these economies are, you know, at risk of recession in that kind of environment. The U.S. probably is in the best position to navigate through without actually going into recession. British economy probably the most vulnerable. They're probably already in, but in all these countries, all these countries are grappling with the with the inflation, and higher interest rates, and you know it's going to be a tough time you know, getting uh, through yeah. this period. I, I mean, that's really the point. Um, <laughs> whether you grow by one point two or contract by point four to a technical recession, it really doesn't make a jot of difference other than, you know, the, 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 the right to, you know, to say we had a recession or we didn't. Unemployment's going to rise. Uh, it's going to feel pretty bad. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know. I'd like to avoid one, Richard. I mean, I mean just give you context. Uh, you know, if we suffer in the United States the typical recession, and there's been 12 of them since World War II, just take the average you know, we're going to lose 4 million jobs. Uh, the unemployment rate, which is now 3.5%, 50-year low, is going to go to 6%. Uh, we want to avoid that. We just don't want that to happen. Uh, so, you know, I, I prefer not to go in recession, technical or not. Uh, but uh, but I hear I get your point. I mean, everyone's going to struggle here in, in 2023. Mark Zandi, good to talk to you, sir. We will follow this, you and I, turn by turn as the year moves on. I'm grateful to you, sir. Thank you. The 